Good morning everyone! For this video, I'm going to show you how to make a fish protein concentrate or FPC. FPC is similar to fish flour or fish powder wherein protein is concentrated that is derived from a very low cost fish or fish bone meal which are not saleable. Fish bone meal are only thrown or eaten by cats and dogs. That is why in this video, I'm going to utilize the fish bones to produce another useful product. Meanwhile, calcium is also concentrated in FPC if bones are being included in the preparation. Fish protein concentrate is not eaten for tea, but it is used in the manufacture of pulveron, cropix, biscuits, arascon caldo, and many others. But before anything else, I will prepare myself first before I will proceed to the actual procedure of uh, making an FPC or fish protein concentrate. First off, I have to ready myself by wearing a clean apron, a disposable mask, and tying my hair in a bun. Wash my hands with soap and clean water. After days of collecting fish bones, this is how the raw materials look like. Bones from different fish species, or what we used to call as fish bone meal, which is the main ingredient of this activity. Next up, are the equipments and utensils to be used in making fish protein concentrate or FPC, which includes the plastic wares, the glass, the bottle, and the boxes, the cloth, hammer, and grammar, the electric rice cooker, a pitcher with water, an aluminum plate, sifter and ladle, a saucer, spoon and fork, small mixing bowl, and a pot. For the procedures, the steps in preparing FPC are as follows. The first step is washing. Wash the raw materials with clean, fresh water. In the absence of pressure cooker, I substitute pressure cooking with boiling. So the second step is boiling. Boil the raw materials, which are the fish bones, using electric rice cooker for 3 hours. Put them all together inside a rice cooker. And add enough amount of water. As for me, I add 1 liter of water to the raw materials. Plug it in and then cook. Always remember that when your rice cooker is out of water, gradually add enough amount of water to boil the fish bones thoroughly since our goal for this step is to soften the bones. And now, it's time to check the boiled bones. The third step is sifting. Sift the boiled raw materials.
The days of the week is filled with rains. Only a short time till the sun shines and appears, not enough to thoroughly dry the fish bones. And so instead of drying them under the heat of the sun, I substitute the process with drying, or shall I say cooking them over the heat with the use of pan, without any oil or fats added to it. It lasts for 20 minutes with steady fire. I constantly stir it so that it won't stick to the pan. And then, I air dry it for hours. And then the next step is pounding. Wrap them inside a cloth and pound with the use of hammer. Since when I tried using a mortar and thistle, it didn't work out well. Followed by sifting. Sift so that tiny particles will drop to the mixing bowl. And then, repeat the process, pounding and sifting it over again. I'm already done with pounding and sifting, and now, here is the powdered fish bone. And now, it's time for us to proceed to the next step, which is weighing. Turn the grommer on, place the plastic glass on top of it, tear so that we can have zero gram even with the plastic glass on top of it, and then weigh the FPC or the powdered fish bone. And then I make sure that I will reach or I can have 50 grams since that is the required amount to be produced. And, lucky enough, I was able to produce 54 grams of fish protein concentrate. The next step is packaging. Here's the FPC and the plastic bottle. Pack them in a plastic bottle. And here's the FBC sealed tightly in a plastic bottle. After packaging is storing, store them in a cool, dry place. So that's it for my video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, as well as hit the bell button down below to subscribe to this YouTube channel. 
Thank you. Keep safe and love us.